I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank my student Shruti for sharing this beautiful question and I hope its solution will help many others. Now this is a bonus question based on derivatives and tangents. Find equations of common tangents between the following curves y equals to 2 minus x square and y equals to 5 plus x square. So these are two different parabolas. We need to find equations of common tangents. Let's try to understand this situation. So I'll make a small sketch here. Uh, so we have uh, two parabolas. One is opening downwards. So let us say 2 minus x square will be opening downwards with y intercept at 2. So let's select this, right? So let this be the parabola opening downwards. The other one is 5 plus x square, which opens upwards. So let's say this is the other parabola, which is opening upwards. Okay. Now when we are saying that we have common tangents, so the scenario could be something like this, that we have a line which goes through uh, both touching them so tangent to both could be something like this right so that could be a tangent right similarly we could also have another line coming from this direction does it make sense to you so we are expecting two tangents and what we need to do is find the equation of these tangents perfect so i hope the scenario is absolutely clear now let's work on the equations given to us. We have y equals to 2 minus x square. So that means dy dx is equal to minus 2x. So on this green graph which we have y equals to 2 minus x square, at any point slope is going to be minus 2x. So let's consider this point to be point P, right? So uh, let's say capital P. Now, if P is my x value, let me write this as, if lowercase p is my x value, then the y value will be 2 minus P square, correct? Since it is this point, right? Okay, let's consider a point here, which is, uh, let's say Q. And let the coordinates of Q be, x coordinate be lowercase Q, the y will be 5 plus q square, correct? So let us say that this line which we are considering is tangent at p and q where p is lowercase p x value, y is 2 minus p square. So now we can say that uh, this particular tangent over here will be, uh, it can be written as uh, dy dx equals to minus 2p, right? So minus 2p, if p is my x value, correct? On the other hand, if I write down the slope of the tangent line for the other curve, which is basically 5 plus x square is the value of y, in that case, we get dy dx equals to 2x, correct? Now, now that clearly indicates that these two slopes should be same. So if the point is uh, Q, which is Q and uh, 5 plus Q square, in that case, from here, we get that dy dx is basically equal to 2Q. Correct? So we have these two equations with us. Slope could be these. Now, since we are talking about common slope, right, so that means what? Since we are talking about common tangents, that means that uh, minus 2p should be equal to 2q, right? And that means that uh, p, or you can say minus p is equal to q, correct? So we get a condition between these points. So we have their x value as minus p or q and they are related, right? Let's call this as our equation number three. Okay, now 
uh, on this point uh, we have we can also find the slope using uh, y2 minus y1 slope m from p to q is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so in our case uh, y2 will be 5 plus q square minus y1 will be 2 minus p square divided by uh, x2 minus this is q minus p right so that's what we get now uh, let's simplify this uh, we get this as equals to 5 minus 2 is 3 and we get plus q square plus p square minus minus right over q minus p so so that becomes the slope but what we have seen here that this slope is minus 2p right so we'll use equation 1 which is minus 2p and we can substitute this here so we can write this as minus 2p and now we'll substitute 3 which says that uh, we can substitute the value of q minus p is q correct so replacing q with minus p we can get one equation in one variable so since that is true we can write this as 2q equals to 3 plus q square plus you can write minus q whole square it becomes positive in this case q minus minus q so that is what you get so that is 2q positive when you cross multiply you get 4q square equals to here it becomes positive so we get 3 plus 2q square now bringing it to the left side gives us 2q square equals to 3 and that gives you the value of q as plus minus square root of 3 over 2 so as you can see by isolating q we have really found the value of q which is plus minus uh, square root 3 and that means p will be equals to minus plus square root 3 over 2 so so we get our values for the points at least so i think we are quite successful in getting the points now we have the points we know slope is equal to minus 2p we know slope m from p to q is minus 2p and we know p could be written as uh, square root of 3 by 2 right so there are two points one is plus one is negative so let's take this positive point uh, in that case slope of the line pq will be equal to minus 2 times square root of 3 over 2 and that gives you uh, square root of 6 with a negative sign so that becomes the slope when we are taking positive value of 3 by 2 so when I take positive value we are here and we see this negative line you see that part right so it's absolutely clear so we get the slope and we know the point also now on this particular curve we know what the point we are talking about so so we have slope and the point will be uh, point p will be we have taken square root 3 by 2 and if i substitute here we get uh, uh, 2 minus 3 by 2 right so that is the y value which is uh, same as uh, we have square root 3 by 2 x values 2 times 2 4 4 minus 1 is 4 minus 3 is 1 so we get half right so so the y value here is half so y value is half right so we get this point which is basically square root 3 by 2 half do you see that so that is the point which we just calculated now we know the point so we can find equation of the line so now let's find equation of tangent line
Uh, we know the other point also, which is only y value same, but p values minus square root 3 by 2. That's the only difference, right? Okay. So the equation of the line will be uh, y equals to slope of minus square root 6 x plus b. Substituting these points, which is half equals to minus square root 6 times square root 3 over 2 plus b, right? So, so that gives you uh, the value which is uh, half and here uh, we can write this as equal to uh, you could divide this by uh, this is also square root right so this is square both are square root so it is square root 9 which is 3 right so so which is 3 plus b uh, with a negative sign of course and we can take it to this side so we get half plus 3 equals to b which is 6 plus 1 7 by 2 correct so we get the value of b as 7 by 2 and therefore the equation of line will be equal to uh, y equals to minus square root of 6 x plus 7 by 2 correct so that becomes the equation of this particular line where we have taken positive value of p is that clear to you right and the slope is negative perfect now similarly if you use the other point which is uh, which is negative then you get slope as uh, for the other equation so this is one equation correct okay? let's call this as our equation number four which is the main equation so now if you use the other point which is let me write down which is p equals to uh, minus square root three by two and the y value being still half right so the y value same half and the slope for this will be equals to uh, square root of six it is a positive slope since you substitute negative value of p in your equation it becomes positive slope right so if you substitute this with this negative you get the second equation which would be y equals to minus square root of 6 minus becomes plus for this one uh, plus 7 over 2 is it clear to you so these are the two equations well i would like you to work on this you follow this these steps once again the only difference will be that this becomes a positive slope since it is minus of 2 times p and we are taking p value this side slope is positive as you can see point will be negative actually uh, square root 3 by 2 negative and therefore you get this equation is that clear to you so we get our answer there are two solutions to this and and the curve is y equals to plus minus square root of 6x uh, plus 7 by 2 right so that is how you're going to solve it i hope the steps are absolutely clear so you can work on this consider a point p where the x coordinate is p y will be 2 minus p square and on this q q plus 5 plus q square that gives you the slope of a tangent line equate it what we got from the derivative and then find the value of q and then proceed as we did here so i hope that helps feel free to write your comment share your views if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for your time and all the best